Marine banned from attending his own graduation ceremony for absolutely foul reason, under the Obama administration, we saw an uptick in disrespect for our military men and women. Barack and Michelle Obama showed their constant disdain for the brave men and women who defend our great nation. Instead of Obama showing our military the utmost respect he cut their benefits and shrunk us to pre-World War II capabilities. On top of it all, his nasty attitude was adopted by many of our youth and adults in leadership. Which is evident when one proud Marine was banned from his graduation for this horrible reason. Most parents would be thrilled to have their son or daughter volunteer to serve our great country. The sacrifice that our brave men and women make when they decide to serve and protect our nation is admirable. Though there are those on the left that continue to demonize their honorable sacrifice. Sadly that was demonstrated again when a Marine flew back for his graduation only to discover he was banned. Jacob Dalton Stanley, a high school student from Indiana, graduated early in December and signed up for the Marines. This amazing young man then completed a boot camp a week before graduation and was planning to attend. Obviously proud of his amazing achievement, Stanley wanted to wear his Marine dress blues for his graduation. However, the school administration refused to allow him to wear them since it went against dress code. You just cannot make this stuff up folks. According to Fox News, an Indiana high school student was forbidden from walking the stage to get his diploma while wearing his Marine uniform at his graduation ceremony. Jacob Dalton Stanley graduated in December from Crown Point High School. He completed Marine boot camp on Friday and flew home to attend his senior class graduation ceremony. During practice, Principal Chip Pettit reportedly told Stanley that he was not allowed to wear his uniform at the weekend graduation. Stanley decided to wear his dress blues anyway. Meanwhile, an early graduate and Marine from the nearby Hobart High School was encouraged to wear her uniform for graduation. Hobart School Superintendent Peggy Buffington told The Times of Northwest Indiana, this year was especially nice because Anna Criticus graduated midterm and landed just in time for the graduation ceremony. Buffington described the occasion when the past, present and future military were honored as a patriotic moment where the audience roars with applause. The Marines do not have a policy on dress for high school graduations, leaving the decision up to the individual school districts. Pettit, in addressing the issue regarding Stanley, said, We have continued wearing the traditional gown as this is the last formal event of the year and a celebration of the time our graduating seniors have spent at Crown Point High School. This tradition is not intended to be disrespectful to students, parents, or our community, but as a source of pride for our students. It is also not intended to be disrespectful to our students choosing to serve in the military, our active duty servicemen and women and our veterans. We are forever grateful for the sacrifices that they make on a daily basis for our freedom. Stanley declined to comment, but his classmates were outraged. Fellow graduate Leanne Tustison said, if he wants to walk across the stage in his uniform that he worked so hard for and earned he should have the right to do that. That's his achievement. They honored other people's achievements whether they were in triathlon or other activities. Of course this completely disrespectful, and this all thanks to Obama and his legacy. After Stanley was banned from graduating his classmates were horrified and took to social media to voice their outrage. Seriously face with rolling eyes light skin tone face palm have some respect. This is absolutely pathetic. This is how we treat our military. Really disgusting. Brooke, at Brooke 1208 New York, June 9, 2017 Again, this is the sort of disrespect that needs to be changed in our country. However, if Stanley wanted to walk across the stage in a G-string or a dress I am sure the administration would gladly oblige. Stanley's achievement should be applauded and not punished in any way. In this day and age, hard work and dedication is almost a novelty to find in the younger generation. To see someone so young make this enormous sacrifice is something that should be honored and commended. It will take time, to turn the tide that has been set upon our country. However, with young people like Stanley around I have hope for our future again. Share if you think that Jacob Stanley should be able to walk. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.